Hi everyone! So you might be wondering why I'm talking to you through my computer. This is not our normal setup. That is because today I'm going to show you guys how to make a background wallpaper screensaver for your computer. If you're in fandom, you probably wonder how everyone gets such cute collage backgrounds. And today I'm going to show you how to make one based off your favorite concert that you went to, your favorite tour. And then I'm also going to show you one based off your favorite song and also going to show you a general fandom one. I'm going to be doing three different artists. These are my three favorite artists. You can make these based on whoever you want, whatever fandom you are in. But for this video, I'm just going to show you what I would do for myself. And we're also going to have some little graphics and things like that for you to use based on these fandoms as well as a few others. So without further ado, let's get started and let's make a background based off of the Five Star Show Tour that I went to last year. Okay, so here we have just a blank project within Canva. Canva is probably the easiest to make this on. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and uploaded a bunch of my show photos. I went to six dates of this tour. I don't expect you to have that many shows on a tour or that many photos however i'm going to show you what i would type into pinterest to find some photos on there that you can use so i'm just going to start off i'm going to put some pictures of me and my friends i'm just going to put them in here and we're probably not going to use all of these Now that I have like maybe all of the photos that I want in here, I'm gonna start by removing the background on some of these. And you do have to have a Canva Pro account for this. I do wanna make that clear. However, you can just do a free trial. I think it's like for 90 days or something. Don't quote me on that, but you can do a free trial and use all of these features if you don't want to pay for a Canva Pro account. Sometimes Canva is funky too, so you might have to go in here and like restore a bit of it. You can see this photo bash, like a lot of it was erased and it doesn't have to be perfect. We will probably cover it up anyways. You might be able to tell that Ashton is in fact my favorite member of Five Sauce. So that is why I have more photos of Ash than anyone else. This one, I am gonna try and cut out the background just because I want just the confetti, I think. Okay, well that didn't work. So actually I'm not gonna cut the background out. So you can just quickly undo this right here. This one, I'm gonna cut the background out. This one, I'm not going to cut the background out because it looks cool, but I am going to like crop it. So to be honest, I don't necessarily have like a direction for this. I think that it's kind of going to be what I feel along the way, which is the fun of creativity that you never know exactly what you're going to make. But to start, I'm going to change the background to the orange color that was the branding for this specific tour. Um, okay, so sometimes it gives you photo colors, sometimes it doesn't. I'm gonna 
I grab it from this with this little eye drop tool. I think I'm also going to go to Pinterest and search for five seconds. <clears throat> summer show 2023 because they have like actually 10 different things called that i also do have to say pinterest is the best place to find any type of photo way better than google so the thing i love about canva is that you can literally copy and paste an image into it and not have to clutter your downloads folder with a bunch of different downloads. So I actually went and cropped this logo so that when I do the background remover tool, it will hopefully just remove the background around the words and not the guys. Hopefully. If not, we'll figure it out, but fingers crossed. Yay. So there's our logo. I think I'm gonna just put her in the middle for now. I'm gonna, I think, just start kind of collaging these. This I'm gonna crop because I just want the confetti and the band to be the main focal point of this. I also think it would be kind of cool if we have like some of the orange going through. No, I'm not going to use that. Also I'm going to make sure that you can see all of the logos, especially B and so because they're black. So just be mindful of that. And you can also change the layering of these if you need. If you feel like you are running out of room and you need to kind of see how much room you have, you can just make another page within the project and you can drag them onto here and then when you're ready to use them drag them back i'm gonna go back here and i'm gonna kind of just look at some things that align with the branding of the show. Merch designs are a really great place to look for inspo and little like graphics and images that they use, especially with Five Sauce. They love a good little graphic, a little logo. Let's go look at Five Sauce's merch. See, I think you I love Five Sauce. We're gonna go to the tour store. Okay, so as you can tell, they have have these little graphics and love you five sauce but you did make this public so i'm gonna screenshot this now that we have pulled the graphics from five sauce's tour merch website i'm gonna go ahead and insert these and remove the background on them these are literally screenshots from the website the theme of this tour is very obviously orange and pink, but also a lot of stars, a lot of checkerboard. Callum put in that star shirt, changed lives. Um, I'm also gonna go over here. Um, Canva is really nice because it has literally every single type of element you could imagine. Um, I'm gonna look for checkerboard puppy.
that checkerboard prints that I found. I'm gonna send this all the way backward. But make sure you can still grab it if you need it. You can also use your arrow button keys to move it. So I'm pretty happy with how this is looking. Another thing that you can do is go to Pinterest and look up five soul show set list and I'm just gonna make my own I'm just gonna put like the set list and underline it and we'll go back and like put effects on the text and stuff like that to make it match the branding and style of the tour I'm literally just gonna like copy this text so that I don't have to write all of this out and then I'll adjust it accordingly. So obviously you can't just keep it this way because you can't see it. However, Canva has a bunch of different effects that you can use, which is nice. So kind of like TikTok or Instagram text, you can put like an outline or a background on it to make it pop and you can read it better. And how you group things is you select one item, then you hit shift on your keyboard, and then you select the rest of it, and you hit group up here. So now you can move it around and you want to select all the different elements. So if you want to add a set list on here, you can. You can you know put it in the corner over here or wherever you want. I'm not going to add a set list just because I don't want one on mine. Voila! There you have it. There is my concert background for my computer. This is super cute. You can change it however you want. You can make it whatever show you want. Um, add whatever graphics. But this is how you do it. It's super easy. Um, super easy to learn how to use Canva. Yeah, and I hope that if you make this one, you have so much fun and you get creative and take inspo from this, or you can use a template, whichever you would like. Okay, moving on. Now we're gonna make a little wallpaper based on your favorite song. So me personally, my favorite song is Daydreaming. By Harry Styles but I'm gonna kind of show you what I picked out and how I sort of picked it out in Pinterest and then I'm gonna show you how to lay it all out and make it nice and pretty and look cohesive no matter what song you pick so as you can see I went ahead and just picked out a bunch of photos from Pinterest and I'm kind of basing it off of these type 
wallpapers. I want something super like aesthetic and also kind of themed, but maybe not so much like color themed as it is like aesthetic themed. What I did is I just copied and pasted these so that I didn't have to <laughs> take up a bunch of space in my downloads. Also kind of thought that sunsets and um, I guess like Perry Lane and or like this one with the sunset in the background were kind of cool and fit the aesthetic. I don't know. I think it is just like what you feel the aesthetic of your favorite song is. And if the picture feels like the song makes you feel it. Period. So, honestly, like, I could cut this out and just make it a gray background with some green. But I feel like I want to make this one the picture instead because there's more, like, white to work with, if that makes sense. There's more like white space. Okay, I've decided that I'm not gonna do one single background and we're just gonna start collaging photos. We're making progress. This is what it is looking like so far. Basically, I think that I am just layering photos and then kind of picking out the things that I want to pop. Like not photos of Harry himself, but like little graphics or like this little star or something like that. Because I want them to feel like they're jumping off at the page and they stand out to whoever is looking at this. Or I might like put this little bitty one in here or something like that. So one of the most magical things about Canva is that you can literally edit a photo in a million different ways. So this um, obviously doesn't fit like the color vibe that I'm going for. And so I'm literally just gonna make it black and white. And I think we have like a lot of like blues and pinks 
and purples and oranges like that type of thing I feel like I'm just gonna like color matching maybe or I guess not this one everyone i think that this is the final product of my daydreaming background as you can see i added some little stars i added some little cloud drawings and i also added these little text box with some of the lyrics in there and yeah it's really cute i'm really happy with how it came out honestly i might make this my background on my computer for real but if you want to make your own, this template is available for you and you can make it however you want. You can change it around based on your favorite song. Okay, now that we've done a background based on a tour that you went to and one based on your favorite song, now we're just going to do a general one. We're going to do Taylor Swift, like I said. I think this is going to be really fun. I sort of went with a color theme this time just because like i wanted to show you one but as you can see i already started making this and gathering photos i didn't realize how many photos i had but honestly i feel like this one i kind of want to be maximalism and like have a ton more pictures versus this one like i sort of want to make it like chaotic cute if that makes sense you'll see what i mean i'm using all different eras of course and to find these i kind of just like dug on pinterest until i found some that i liked and thought were cute and be conscious of like not only which photos you're putting but where you're putting them and if they're clashing if they look weird together that sort of thing then i would personally reevaluate also like want to know that you don't have to 100 like layer them like it's fine if there's one or two or whatever if they're sitting on the top of everything like this like it kind of is makes it pop out and is really cute in my opinion Okay, you guys, I think that that is the finished Taylor Swift one. Yay. There you have it. That is how to make your own background, wallpaper, lock screen, whatever you want to call it for your computer. If you enjoyed this video, let me know below and maybe we'll do more DIY or how to's. I don't know. I feel like maybe you guys don't want to see us just sit and talk to the camera all the time so let us know below and please send us pictures of all of your beautiful wallpapers that you make it is super easy all you have to do is head to the link in the description and there is a super easy canva template that you can use and if you don't have canva pro don't worry, you can do a free trial and cancel it before it ends and you won't get charged. So you can do that or you can use 
Canva for free as well. But I hope you enjoyed this. I hope that you make a million different wallpapers based on all of your favorite things and your favorite fandoms. And I'll see you in the next one.